just like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence near. Just like a child whose mind has not a doubt and whose heart is never proud. Here I come, O oh Lord, here I come just like a child. Here I come, O oh Lord, here I come just like a child, just like a child, so we kick in our strength. But to hold strong and tight is mother's hand, just like a child who sings in bright daylight, fearing not the long dark night. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Here I come, O oh Lord. Here I come, just like a child. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Our holy mass this afternoon is being offered for the following intentions. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam, on the occasion of the wedding anniversary of Joseph Prasad and Victoria. Mass in Thanksgiving to Infant Jesus offered by Mrs. and Mr. Joseph Prasad and children Jude and Justin. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam, Sita Madara Parish. May the Infant Jesus shower his blessings upon for good health and prosperity on Maria Das Wicket as he celebrates his birthday today. Mass offered by Elizabeth Francis, Aloysius Wicket, Teresa, Ogayasi and family members. Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Kote Prakash Raju on the occasion of the first death anniversary offered by Mandagiri Balaswami Jyoti Mary Saujanya. Archdiocese of Mumbai. Mass for the departed soul of Edwin Dylan Criado offered by family members. Diocese of Kadapa Pradutur Parish. Mass on the occasion of the wedding anniversary of Akula Anila Saujanya Jasmine Sundi Nirmal Prasad for the intention of good health, good future, and thanks for giving birth for a baby girl, Ivana Grace. Mass offered by Akula Vijaya Kumar. Holy Mass for the departed soul of Lucy Mary Anthony, offered by Cedric Anthony and family. Diocese of Guntur, Bongaralbid Parish. Mass. On the occasion of the 34th ordination anniversary of Father Repudi Rayappa for the intention of good health, good future offered by Lurdumata Parish members, Vincent de Paul Society members, Maridala Legion of Mary members, youth and sisters of the convent. Together with these intentions, let us also pray for all the donors of Divyavani TV channel that the Lord may bless them for their generosity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, on this Thursday, as we have started since last week, to venerate infant Jesus on every Thursday, both in the afternoon Telugu English Mass and also at 6 p.m. Telugu Mass. And we have been listening to the gospel in this entire week that the Lord is talking about the bread of life. And the discourse about the bread of life is being continued today in the gospel as well. And this is an occasion for us to test our own faith and belief. If the Lord is truly 
present in the holy eucharist and without this faith our reception of the holy communion is of no use and on the contrary when we receive the lord with this faith the lord dwells in us and he becomes the food for the soul and today we specially venerate the infant jesus and today even though different countries celebrate and call and they have different image of the statue of infant jesus the most known of these statues is that of the infant jesus of prague in the homily we will know in detail the background and history of this devotion so that our faith in, in infant jesus may be made strong and to celebrate this holy sacrifice of the mass in a worthy manner let us call to mind our sinfulness and ask for god's forgiveness and mercy i confess to almighty god and, and to you my, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask bless mary a virgin all the angels and saints and, and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. you have come to heal the contrite lord lord have mercy lord lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ christ have mercy christ Christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the father to intercede for us lord lord have mercy lord lord have mercy let us pray as we venerate the infant jesus mercifully grant us lord that savoring its sweetness in this life we may be filled with everlasting joy in our heavenly homeland through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen If you believe in all your heart you may be baptized First reading a reading from the Acts of the Apostles chapter 8 verses 26 to 40 An angel of the Lord said to Philip, "Rise and go towards the south to the road that goes down from the Jerusalem to Gaza." This is the desert road, and he rose and went. And behold, an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a minister of Candace. the queen of the ethiopians in charge of all her treasure had come to jerusalem to worship and was returning seated in his chariot he was reading the prophet isaiah and the spirit said to philip go up and join this chariot so philip ran to him and heard him 
reading Isaiah the prophet, and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come and sit with him. Now the passage of the scripture which he was reading was this. As the sheep led to the slaughter, or a lamb before its shearer is dumb, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken up from the earth. And the eunuch said to Philip, About whom, pray, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news of Jesus. And as they went along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught up Philip, and the eunuch saw him no more, and went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and passing on, he preached the gospel to all the towns till he came to Caesarea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm and your response. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound of the God whom Give, gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Your response? Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Come on here, all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud with high praise ready on my tongue. Your response? Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry, Cry out with, with joy, joy to God all the earth. earth. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Your response? Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry, Cry out with joy to God all the earth. earth. the Lord Almighty, all you nation, great is this, true his ways, mercy for his love, Alleluia, 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 The Lord Almighty, all you nation, great is this true his ways, mercy for his love. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, 
reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord holy gospel according to saint john chapter the 6th verses from 44 to 51 holy gospel according to saint john chapter the 6th verses from 44 to 51 Jesus said to the crowds No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up at the last day It is written in the prophets and they shall be taught all be taught by God Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me Not that anyone has seen the Father except him who is from God He has seen the father truly truly i say to you he who believes has eternal life i am the bread of life your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died this is the bread which comes down from heaven that a man may eat of it and not die i am the living bread which came down from heaven If anyone eats of this bread he will live forever and the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters we have been listening to the gospel in this whole week and the gospel is about the discourse of jesus from the gospel of john chapter 6 about the bread of life all of us want to eat and to fill our stomachs we do different things we work we have different jobs and we run different businesses at the end of the day human beings desire is to fill one's stomach but jesus today and in the in the days in this past week he has been calling us to fill our souls and not only the stomachs which of course was not liked by the jews and the people who followed jesus and today people expected jesus to give that food the physical food which if it is eaten will not make them hungry again they wanted to eat that food that will fill their stomachs forever and not look after and search for and work for the food they thought that jesus would give that food because they had the experience of eating manna and manna was given by god but it was mostly like a physical food because it was filling their stomachs and that's why in the gospel they in order to believe jesus two days back in the gospel in the same context people asked jesus if you came from god bring manna because moses brought manna for us and then jesus said it's not moses who gave you manna but god the father and the one talking to you is greater than manna and today he clarifies very clearly the bread which i shall give for the life of the world is my flesh at this point they got very angry because they expected jesus to give physical food but then he is promising food for the soul and that food is also his body who can eat the body of a man or a human being so so many people so many of the disciples went away and left jesus today is it not the condition of the world especially catholics who are leaving the catholic church because they want some miracles because they are not satisfied with the food that is given in the form of the holy communion the body and blood of jesus 
they are going to other denomination churches or where they promise luxuries they promise lot of money prosperity today many preachers preach the gospel of prosperity no matter what you do no matter how you live god will bless you you attend our service they preach feel good sermons they make you feel good but the catholic church does not preach it the catholic church preaches the body and blood as the food for the soul and those people who don't care for the soul they don't care for the holy communion that's why today brothers and sisters in the gospel jesus is very clearly inviting us to understand the value of the holy eucharist that it is the food for the soul and if we don't have it our soul will not flourish and today we on this thursday are honoring and commemorating and celebrating this mass in the name of the infant jesus you know each country they have a different statue of infant jesus and uh, most of us in india have this particular statue most of our churches or our homes either in the form of a photo or statue will have this particular kind of statue it is called infant jesus of prague prague is in the country of czech republic and uh, like in the philippines in the country of the philippines they have santa nino which is another form of infant jesus like that many countries have their own shape of the statue of infant jesus but the one that we have that we see here is the most popular one and it is called infant jesus of prague today i want to share with you the historical background of this devotion and the statue of infant jesus of prague you can also watch it on the screen on your tv and also watch or see the statue that is right here this statue of infant jesus of prague is of spanish origin a lady who was from spain she got married to a wealthy man in chez republic in prague and this particular statue was given as a gift and to mind you that the original statue initially did not have the colorful dress or the kingly crown or nothing it was like a bare body of infant jesus but what happened this statue which was given as a wedding gift was presented to carmelite nuns in the in the convent the statue was given as a gift to the convent of carmelite nuns in the year 1628 the carmelite nuns who had the statue they had to escape from their convent and from their town because of saxons who invaded that city they raised war against the catholics so the nuns had to leave their convent and run away to save their lives after 10 years that is in the year 1638 a priest by name father cyril matre dei came back to this town and he came to this convent and he found this statue and then this statue was in a miserable condition one hand of infant jesus was missing because the statue was broken and uh, our statue is also not in so good condition as you see because of the lockdown that's all we could collect from nearby parish and that particular statue with one hand taken away completely the priest took it and kept it in the church sacristy 
and one day he heard the voice of infant jesus from this statue and this voice said these words have pity on me and i will have pity on you give me my hands then i will give you peace the more you honor me the more i will bless you these are the three sentences that the statue spoke infant jesus spoke to this priest have pity on me and i will have pity on you give me my hands and i will give you peace the more you honor me the more i will bless you but you know those days because of the war the priest was in a very poor condition economically he wanted to repair the statue but he did not have any money with him so he did not know what to do then he prayed and asked for the guidance and then infant jesus again appeared to him and told him you know you put the statue take it out from the sacristy and put it out at the entrance of the church and then when it was kept out a rich man came forward and he repaid the statue with his money and then after the statue was repaid so many miracles so many healings especially in the troubled time for the church when the church was invaded by so many enemies because of the power of the statue the church won the wars in the middle ages and this original statue which was without any clothes or without any crown later so many kings in the world sent these ornaments and these golden vestments to the statue and that's why they have the habit of decorating it with such a beautiful and expensive ornaments and vestments and this statue is only 18 and 1/2 inches size 18 and 1/2 inches size this original statue and as you see on the screen the statue of infant jesus of prague i want to explain to you the meaning either you can watch it here or on the screen the real statue of infant jesus and you see on the left hand a globe and over the globe there is a cross that signifies that jesus is the king of the universe that's why he has a globe and over the globe the cross signifying the kingship of jesus and that he is the king of the entire universe and you see the right hand of infant jesus raised meaning that he is blessing he is giving us his blessing that's why the right hand of jesus is raised and you see two fingers especially raised up the two fingers of the right hand of infant jesus signifies they signify his dual nature nature as god and nature of jesus as a man his divine ship and his humanity both are signified in the two fingers raised by infant jesus my dear brothers and sisters what struck us is the words that infant jesus spoke the maker of the universe by just by his words by utterance of his words he created everything but now he stands before humanity and he is pleading have pity on me and i will have pity on you this is a mystery my dear brothers and sisters how can a god who is so powerful who is all powerful what is the need for him to come and ask for the help of human beings to have pity on him that's why 
infant jesus is a symbol of humility the way he was born in such a pitiful condition and the way there was attempt on his life right when he was born and the way he had to run by the protection of saint joseph to save his life infant jesus stands for all the vulnerable people in the world today the orphans people who are homeless and in our own country we see people who are locked down and they because they had to go to their homes which are like 1000 miles away on their foot infant jesus today represents all of them the question is do we care for them do we hear their voices today when they seek our help it is not just they who are seeking our help but it is infant jesus who is asking have pity on me in the name of the father son and the holy spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us all stand and make known to our god our prayers and our needs god our loving father we pray for the holy catholic church the pope the bishops the priests the nuns and all the faithful baptized that we following the teaching and the life of infant jesus understand that we need to take care of the people who are helpless and who are vulnerable and who are homeless that it is you who visit us and seek help in their form make us kind not only in our words but in actions so that the poor and the needy may see you in and through the kind and good hearted people your response lord hear our prayer lord, lord hear our prayer. prayer lord we pray for all the people who are offering this mass people who are celebrating their birthdays and their wedding anniversaries we thank you for the gift of life and for the beautiful family and faith that they have received from you we pray for the people who are asking for the departed family members lord we ask you to forgive their sins so that they may enjoy the company of the angels and saints and we also pray for all the people who are offering this mass with other intentions that through your will their aspirations may be fulfilled your response lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer lord through infant jesus we ask you to increase our faith in him so that we may be always be ready to reach out to the people who are in need so that we may see you in them and may attain eternal life your response lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer lord we pray for divya vani tv channel through which we are able to receive the word of god and your presence in every home lord we ask you to bless all the donors who are everybody that is offering masses so that through their generosity we may reach to every family and make every family a mini church your response lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer for few moments in the silence of our hearts let's pray for personal intentions we make these prayers and the prayers in our hearts through christ our lord amen, amen. this day of joy on this day of hope we come to you in love oh lord on this 
day of joy, on this day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine, we come to this Eucharistic feast on this day of joy, on this day of hope. We come to you in love, O Lord, on this day of joy, on this day of hope. We come to you, O Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept our offerings in the name of infant Jesus. For we are confident that we shall receive whatever we ask in your Son's name, as He Himself, with such kindness, promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you at more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, our universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. As they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope thomas bala archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her spouse the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of god's peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord, lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life
let us pray grant us in your mercy o lord we pray that in these sacred mysteries we may do what the homage to the lord jesus for it is your will that at his name every knee should bend and in him all people find salvation who lives and reigns forever and ever amen my dear brothers and sisters let us now do the powerful prayer prayer in affliction to the infant jesus of prague kindly repeat after me as you see this prayer on tv screen o oh, dearest jesus o oh, dearest jesus tenderly loving us tenderly loving us thy greatest joy is thy greatest joy is to dwell among men to dwell among men and to bestow thy blessing upon us and to bestow thy blessing upon us though i am not worthy though i am not worthy that thou should behold me that thou should behold me with love with love i feel myself drawn to you i feel myself drawn to you o dear infant jesus o dear infant jesus because because thou does gladly pardon me thou does gladly pardon me and exercise thy almighty power and, and exercise thy almighty power over me over me so many so many who turned with confidence to thee who turned with confidence to thee have received graces have received graces and had their petitions granted and had their petitions granted behold me behold me in spirit in spirit i kneel before i kneel before thy miraculous image thy miraculous image on thy altar in prague on thy altar in prague and lay open my heart to thee and lay open my heart to thee with its prayers with its prayers petitions and hopes petitions and hopes my greatest need in particular my greatest need in particular now mention your particular intentions here I enclose it I enclose it in thy loving heart in thy loving heart govern me thou wilt ordain thou wilt ordain everything for the best everything for the best almighty almighty gracious infant jesus gracious infant jesus do not withdraw thy hand from us do not withdraw thy hand from us but protect it protect and bless us forever but protect and bless us forever i pray thee i pray thee sweetest infant sweetest infant in the name of thy blessed mother mary in the name of thy blessed mother mary who cared for thee who cared for thee with such tenderness with such tenderness and by the great reverence and by the great reverence with which with which saint joseph carried thee saint joseph carried thee in his arms in his arms comfort me comfort me and make me happy and make me happy that i may bless and thank thee that i may bless and thank thee from all my heart from all, all my heart, heart. Amen. amen amen my dear brothers and sisters in the evening at 6 we have the mass to infant jesus in telugu priya sahodari sahodarulara sayantram 6 gantalaku దివ్య బాలయేసు యొక్క పవిత్ర దివ్య బలి పూజ అర్పించబడుతూ ఉంది ప్రత్యక్ష ప్రసారము ద్వారా మరి రేపు మే నెల మొదటి రోజు రేపు ఉదయం ఆరు గంటలకు తెలుగు పూజలో మనం పునీత కార్మిక జోజెప్ప పండుగను అదే విధముగా మరియమాత పూజిత మాసపు మొట్టమొదటి దినాన్ని అదే విధముగా నెల మొదటి శుక్రవారం కనుక యేసుప్రభు యొక్క తిరుహృదయాన్ని ఈ మూడు అంశాలను ఉదయం పూట ఆరు గంటల దివ్య బలి పూజలో మనం స్మరించుకోబోతూ ఉన్నాం దయచేసి గమనించండి ఫ్రమ్ టుమారో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ద మంత్ ఆఫ్ మే ద స్పెషల్ మంత్ డెడికేటెడ్ టు మదర్ మేరీ సో ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైం దివ్యవాణి టీవీ ఈజ్ కండక్టింగ్ ద స్పెషల్ డివోషన్ 
in the month of May from tomorrow until the 31st. Every day at 5.40, 5 o'clock in the evening, we have the lives saint of the day. And after that, we have the rosary. And after the rosary, we have the special devotion in the month of May to Mother Mary. And after that, we have 6 o'clock mass in the evening. So, we request everybody that you can offer your family to Mother Mary by sponsoring 200 rupees per day. Those who could offer, afford, you could sponsor for the whole month that costs 6,200 rupees or for a week or for nine days or for one day, whatever is convenient according to your economical situation. And we request the members of the Legion of Mary especially to kindly spread this devotion by talking to your friends and family members. Priya, Maridala Sabbilara, Mi Andarki Guda, Waka Vinnapam, Idi Waka Mi Badhyataka Gurtinchi, Pratikutumam Koda, Kevalam Rundu Vandala Rupa Yelu, Rojuki Chalinchata Madhwara. I think that we are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do Online channels. Anaga, e matram kachuto pani ledu. Waka phone unna, internet connection unna koda, manangoda santa TV channel modala petach. Kani, Divyavani TV, it is a satellite TV. Maru mula grama la lo, phone uleni walla ki goda TV untundi. A TV dwara, prati kutumam Divyavani ni, chair Divyavani dwara, e pradhanalanu pujalanu pundutundi. And the Miritheran governance and the satellite TV key, it are streaming chase at twenty Variki. And the K Miru Manchimansto, Dinini, Apardam Chesco Kunda, Grahin Sagalaru, Marie Rose Kirundu Vandalaru Pail, Chelinchi, any Roselu Miki Vilayte, Anni Roselu, Miru, E. Maria Mata, Deva Matanu, Koniada Galaru, E. Me Nelalo, Repo Deum, Nelamoda Tisukuravaram. Tiruhurdayam Ankitam Chebadina twenty puja, rip Saintra Muntun Daru Gantalaku, Kani Udayam Puja, Karmika Zojapagari Panduganu, Adevi the Muga, Maria Tali, Modati, and May Masamulo, Modati Rosunu, Manam Kuniadu Nam, Rip Saintra, Adevi the Muga, Prati Rosu Saintra, Repetanunchi, Aidu Nalabai, Nimishalaku, Saintra, Maria Mata, Prateka Pradanalu, Maria Mata Puja the Pradanalu, at Pinsabatai. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our holy mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy of Christ to serve Him and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So peace, so gentle Savior, hark, oh, hearken as we say, with the angels of the stable, we adore our infant King. Peace on earth to men of good will, sang the angels from on high. Peace, so oh, peace, dear infant Savior, tis the burden of our cry. From the manger thou hast power for the hearts and souls of men. Only raise thy hands in blessing, peace on earth will reign again. Bless the world, O infant Savior, let all strive and turmoil see. Bless the world, O infant Savior, with a just and lasting peace. With a just and lasting peace